not five, not 20, not 50, not 80, but a hundred plus K strong patriots. That is a Donald J. Trump rally. New Jersey, liberal state, deep blue Democrat state, New Jersey, pulled in over a hundred thousand Trump supporters at a Trump rally on the beach, Wildwood, New Jersey. This had to have been the historic right? A historic rally for any candidate ever in history, Donald J. Trump breaking records with rallies in Jersey. So you know that the Democrat propagandists were put out there in full gear to tear this award-winning, I should say award-winning Trump rally, because if they were giving out awards, Trump would get an award for having the most people at his rally. So, but they sent out the propagandists out here to, of course, to tear down the man when he's having such a great moment. So we're going to talk a little bit about the cackling hens, especially them. We're not going to focus on the breakdown of MSNBC, the breakdown of all the, of all the CNN and all of the rest. We're going to focus on the cackling hens today and how they had their breakdown over this. But they didn't mention that there was over 100,000 people there. No, no, they didn't mention that. They didn't mention that Donald Trump had endorsements by highly uh, celebrated blacks in the community. No, nah, they didn't do that. You'll see what they talked about. We're going to get into it right now. Hello, and welcome to The Conservative Poet. My name is Amanya. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time, welcome back. So here on the channel, I make reaction videos, political commentary. I use some comedy, some humor, so we could drive home the crazies that we're seeing in the society. And I like to refer it as to giving you all the hammer as to what's happening in the society. So if this is something that is interesting to you, then you've come to the right place. I hope you stay a while. If you like the content, please help me out by subscribing if you want to subscribe, but you can also help me out by commenting. And I enjoy doing that. I do like the banter and the comments and you can just like the video, uh, if that, if you prefer to do that, but either way, it really helps me out to get to my goal of a hundred thousand by Christmas. So really appreciate your help. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So this record breaking rally ha has been talked about all over the world. And we're going to see a news clipping from across the pond, our friends at uh, Sky News who covered this. They actually had people on the ground in Jersey to do this. So we're going to see that. And then we're going to take a look and see what did the American media have to say about this rally. And when I say media, I'm using the term loosely. I should just say cackling hens, right? I should just say the view and the cackling, the cackling hens. An estimated 100,000 people showed up to watch Donald Trump speak in New Jersey over the weekend. The former president is determined to prove that the court cases against him won't deter his campaign as the president, Joe Biden, continues to avoid hosting large events. These days, Donald Trump spends most of his days in court. But six months out from the election, he's working in campaign stops around his hush money case. And as you know, I've come here from New York, where I'm being forced to endure a Biden show trial, all done by Biden. His latest rally in New Jersey drew a massive crowd. 
Officials estimate between 80 to 100,000 people packed onto the beach. The strategy to turn his legal woes from a liability to an asset. In fact, I heard they were going to do a couple of other things and they said from Washington, don't do it, please don't do it. We're indicting him into the White House. He's going to be indicted into the White House. They said, don't do it. If anything, the legal cases against Donald Trump have emboldened his face. And the reality is, while he continues to host rallies like this and pull big crowds, he's setting the pace for Joe Biden to match as questions linger around the incumbent president's age and ability to serve another four years. Seen that? Heard that? Good. The momentum? The energy in the crowd is high. People are excited. They have tried, they have thrown everything that they can at this man, at this president. But at every move, he is doubling down. He is showing up and the people are showing up with him. The love that he is getting at these rallies, that he is getting wherever he goes, I mean, it's unbelievable. But you know what? The man has strength, character, and is able to execute. And so people see that, people know that. And Joe Biden can't hold a candle to Donald J. Trump. Joe Biden can't, he don't have no energy for none of it. Right? This man goes on these rallies and he talking for two hours, hour and a half. Joe Biden can't do five minutes. And it shows and people all across the country, all around the world sees this and knows this. Donald Trump is the guy. Donald Trump is the guy. And he's got the energy to go with that. The momentum, the energy in the crowd is high. People are excited. President Biden's getting criticized for not sending a clear enough message to voters. Here's some of you know who's message at a rally in Wildwood, New Jersey. So succinct. Watch. You look at the economy, the real economy, not the fake economy. Everything they touch turns to what? You shouldn't use that kind of language. I've come here from New York, where I'm being forced to endure a Biden show trial carried out by radical Democrat district attorney. You know who he is? Fat Alvin. Has anyone ever seen a silence of the lips? The late, great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. He oftentimes would have a friend for dinner. But Hannibal Lecter, congratulations. The late, great Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. That yeah. Okay. Uh, now, you, look, uh, we've had to make this point in the past. Hannibal Lecter isn't real. Right. Okay. He's not a real character. He's kind of like the mermaid, Little Mermaid. She wasn't real either. Yeah. Okay. So, getting going off on him, it, it seems strange. And, and of course, you'll say you're joking, but we know you you're not. That, that's my question, though. Like, let's say he's not joking and uh -huh, he believes uh -huh. Hannibal Lecter to be real. Who, he, he said something like, um, the late, great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. He oftentimes would have a friend for dinner. Right. So who, who's Hannibal Lecter in the analogy and who's coming over for dinner? And uh, getting Alyssa eaten. was and getting <laughs> eaten. So Alyssa was telling me this started with migrants. I want to make sure I quote that right, because I think it was m the first time I heard the Hannibal Lecter references was talking about an unsecure border and the worst of the worst so coming over. So the migrants over. are the cannibals? I'm not going to attempt to get into Donald I Trump's like we're analyzing I, Taylor Swift I, now. Yeah, I just don't, I, I just, <laughs> I don't understand well, it. No, well, I, I feel like I'm on acid, you know, listening <laughs> yeah, to this conversation. I mean, it's, and it's, and it's, and I mean, that's what Donald Trump makes me feel like. Like, I'm on acid, but I'll tell you something that he said. So Hannibal Lecter may not be real, but I'll tell you what is very real. The six Supreme Court justices that overturned Roe v. Wade yeah. that he named by name and thanked mm -hmm. for doing that. Yeah. yeah. And that is what people need to be tuning in. Well, people, people know what's going on. Americans are not dumb. They hear everything. They know what the media is telling them and not telling them. Okay? They're Seen aware. that? Heard that? Good. Oh, whoopee, darling. The American people is aware. They are aware that you all are hacks that have nothing to really communicate to the public. And we all know that it's props that's in your audience 
right? People, you're, you're giving stuff away to, to, to clap. Did everybody come out here to make them clap and, and all of this. We know it's all a showcase, right? It's all a show. We know y'all don't really have any fans and we know people aren't really watching because you don't give the American people the truth. You pick and choose little things and then marry things together to show Donald Trump as some sort of idiot who doesn't know what Hannibal Lecter is. You don't even know a joke when you hear it. Oh, you say, oh yeah, he says that uh, it's a joke, but we know better. It is a joke. We know better. We, the American people, know that it's a joke. It is you that is looking stupid, dumb, dumb right now. It is you, the cackling hens, that is looking stupid, dumb, dumb, because everybody knows that this man is making a joke. And that one, Sonny Holston, man, did... How dumb is this one? This woman is supposed to be an attorney. This woman is supposed to have all kinds of education, all kinds of education. Okay? You as a dumb as a box of rocks, girl. Dumb as a box of rocks. How the hell did these people make millions and millions and millions of dollars? And then the other one who's supposed to be the Republican. Well, I don't I don't I don't want to get into Donald Trump's heads. I don't I can't get into Donald Trump's head. Really? You can't even stand up and say, you know, yeah, you know what? How about he had 100,000 plus at his rally? How about that? These people are scared shitless, right? They are scared. They are worried. They couldn't even string this segment together to cover this. This is the only thing that they had. This is what they pull out of their media box, out of their media kit. This drama, this nonsense. This is what you got, Whoopi Goldberg. This what you got. This what you got. Girl, I got something else for you. Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of the cackling fools wouldn't play this on their platform, what I'm about to show you right now. Two black brothers, legendary football players who came on stage with Trump had a few minutes on the mic, and one of them said, not me, nor my family, anybody in our family will ever vote Democrat again. I would think that Whoopi Goldberg would want to cover that and talk about that. And even if it's just, just to say, you know what, those black Negroes went on there and just showed up. They, 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 they kissing Donald Trump ass. You know, they doing this and they doing that. Even if they'd done that, it would have been much better than stringing along this Hannibal Lecter segment that they came up with. If you'd gone that route, might have been a, it might have worked out a little bit better. But because you want to dumb things down, you want to pretend that Donald Trump is stupid. You want to pretend that you all don't know that this is a joke that he's making. And, and you drop the ball because you can't face the facts. Black folks are waking up. America is waking up. I'm going to let them tell it. joined tonight and today by two uh, incredible football legends. New York Giants, Super Bowl heroes. I guess I would have to say uh, Lawrence Taylor is the greatest defensive player ever. I'm a little prejudiced, but I would say that. And a man who was possessed during Super Bowl, he was a Super Bowl MVP, Otis O.J. Anderson in the hair. Come on up, fellas, for a second. Come on up. Come on up. These guys... Look at him, Lawrence. You look like you could play immediately. They could use you. Come on up. These guys are serious players. You know, they're my golfing partners, too. Tell them. Can Trump play golf? You have to tell them. I just want to say, I grew up a Democrat, and I've always been a Democrat, until I met this man right here. I'll tell you what. 
He will not have to worry about it. nobody in my family ever vote for a Democrat again. Okay. Don't you just love that guy? Don't you just love that guy? I tell you, it has been a very exciting day. You guys, not one person left here. You're still here yelling and screaming. So my word is Wildwood. Are you in the house? I, no, I can't hear you. Wildwood, are you in the house? Seen that? Heard that? Good. You see, Whoopi Goldberg and them, they can't explain that, right? They can't explain how is it that two black men are at a Trump rally and um, and they're saying, we love you, right? Don't you just love that man? That's what he said. But no, they, they're not going to admit that. They're not going to talk about that. They want to pick and choose useless nonsense that Trump is saying to have fun with his with the crowd. That's what they focus on, not the real president uh, moments like that one. Like here you have two businessmen, well-respected, loved in the black community, loved in the sport of football. You know, these are respected people, Super Bowl people. But no, they don't want to talk about that. No, they want to talk about Hannibal Lecter and Trump making cannibalism jokes. That's that's where they are. No wonder the media, no wonder you are not respected. No wonder nobody really listens aside from the liberal liberal crackpots. You know? They don't listen because what you what you're offering, what you're giving Nobody wants to hear. Nobody wants to talk about. It's useless. Grown women, right? Grown women, professionals, paid millions of dollars. And here's a scene that they just skipped over, right? But the other, the cackling hen, the 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 one who's supposed to be a Republican, the the um the Latino. Uh, what did she say? That Trump addressed the judges and said, thank you for turning over Roe v. Wade? This is, this is what, what, what they hate the fact that Donald Trump was the guy who did this, who put these conservative judges on the Supreme Court to do the kind of work that, that's happening right now. Saving babies' lives. You got a problem with saving babies' lives. I mean, these people are unbelievable. But the problem is they are scared shitless that 2024, Donald J. Trump will take the Oval once again. While Trump is in court during the day with these bogus trials, and then he's taking advantage of the moment wherever he is, hence having a major rally in a very deep blue state. He is playing chess while these people are playing. <laughs> I don't even think they're playing checkers. I mean, Trump is running circles around them. Look at this. He's got, he's got to be out that way anyway because... First thing Monday morning, he's got to be in court. You know what? Why not put on a, a rally? And those brothers helped coordinate that. They helped bring it together. Businessmen, right? But while all of this is happening, what do you think Joe Biden, the left's Lord and Savior, the View's Lord and Savior, Whoopi Goldberg's Lord and Sa Savior, do you think he's pulling in 10 people, 20 people? We're not even talking thousands. How many is he pulling in? Small groups, right? Just like 2020, Trump filling up stadiums, 45,000, 50,000. In the 2020 election, I was there at many of the rallies. And I tell you, we came strong. And so, and Joe Biden, as we know, was locked up in the basement somewhere, but he won an election just the same. 
Trump and stadiums packed 2020. Rally after rally after rally. Packed. Joe Biden in his basement. Joe Biden won the election anyway. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's just obvious things. Obvious. But in any event, I'm curious to know about Joe Biden and what he was doing. So I'm going to leave you with that. And you're going to see what Joe Biden has been up to as Trump dominates 100,000 patriots, two hours, strong. And Joe Biden in a small room with a couple of bopping heads. 2024, baby. Biden is focusing his energy on private fundraisers, small controlled campaign events, and lots of FaceTime with the big unions. By the way, remember when he was trying to deal with COVID, he said, just inject a little bleach in your veins. <laughs> he missed it, all went to his hair. <laughs> Look. I shouldn't have said that. I probably shouldn't have said that. True. You guys are a bad influence on me. The pace of each election campaign will pick up every day, and Donald Trump is determined to show the court cases won't slow him down. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you all. Let's win this state. We're going to win it. Seen that? Heard that? Good. Well, friends, I don't know about you and where you are in your neck of the woods, but I know in my neck of the woods, I can't wait for the rallies to come my way because I will be one of those people in that crowd. 100 thousand deep. Yes. So welcome friends. We are in an election and I'm pumped up. Trump is pumped up. We're all pumped up because it is time for us to take back this country. It is time for us to take back this country, to deal with this crime that we're seeing all over the place, just to, to deal with this illegal invasion that's happening not just by border, but by air to take over or oh, look at the, the prices of food, gas. I mean, it's time for us to fix this problem. And Donald Trump is the only one that I believe can get it done. So I am excited for this election. I hope you are too. And friends get involved, whether it's, you know, getting on the volunteer to do to work for for the trump campaign and doing that or your local elections we've got senate races happening we've got house races happening we've got get involved people get involved because we can't win this battle without troops on the ground right we can't win this thing without being on the ground whatever it takes making phone calls putting out signs sign waving donation, whatever it takes, where, wherever you are, get involved. So I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to say God bless you and keep you. And I will see you in another video. And don't forget, let's get into the chat because I'd like to hear what you have to say. All right. So God bless and keep, and I'll see you in another video.